Hey everybody, Chris Engelbert with Engelbert Financial Advisors in Allentown, Pennsylvania, with this week's weekly Rotella update. We're titling it, Where Have All the Workers Gone? Now, if you're like me, you've been to numerous stores and restaurants, and you've seen the help wanted signs everywhere, and nobody really seems to know where all these workers have gone. Well, we've come to uh, a couple of theories that we're gonna share with you today, and uh, we're gonna show you what we think is gonna happen in the future at the end of this video, so stay tuned. But one of the things that happened was obviously we never shut down our economy before and we were worried or the government was worried that we we're going to go into depression. So they did direct payments to people as far as unemployment benefits and also child care tax credits, something we never saw happen before. And it did smooth over the rough patches when many companies shut down, restaurants and small businesses had to close because everybody was forced to stay at home. Well, sometimes you see the law of unintended consequences and you see that by having such generous unemployment benefits, it does keep people out of the workforce longer. The other thing that we saw is that we saw many older workers used 2020 as a time to say, you know what, I'm done, I'm gonna retire. Now, what ended up happening is that they saw at the end of the year, their 401k balances swell dramatically. So they knew that they were in a good place and they were able to leave. And we saw that happen because again, many people were pension eligible. They may have had a defined pension, uh, depending upon if they worked in municipal government or for one of the older manufacturer companies, or they also had very low debt because they knew that they were going to retire and they used the pandemic as, a, as basically an excuse to go around and retire. Well, every year you have about two to 3% of the workforce naturally attrition through retirement we saw numbers as high as 10% attrition due to retirement. So one of the things that happened is people just basically aged out of the workforce a lot earlier than what everybody thought that they were going to do. The other thing that happened is you saw a tremendous change in the way that employment was being structured. So obviously everybody stayed at home, they jumped on Amazon, uh, they got on Uber Eats, and so what ended up happening is that you saw a lot of those dislocated workers transition to obviously warehouse jobs. And in fact, if you've been watching the news, Amazon has already said that they're gonna be hiring an additional 150,000 employees between now and the end of the year. But between Uber Eats, DoorDash, Amazon, we've really seen a change in the face of the workforce to more of a warehouse and gig economy because obviously those jobs pay better and you don't really have to have contact with the, uh, uh, you know, from a customer service standpoint out there. So what's gonna happen out there as far as the trends we're seeing now? Well, obviously one of the biggest trends is that in September unemployment benefits ended and we got some uh, notice that as far as new job unemployment claims, they came down rather radically, uh, which shows us that people are getting back to work uh, not quite as fast as we thought they would do, but with unemployment balances, uh, unemployment ending, uh, they've had, they've seen their balances in their checking and savings accounts obviously increase, and so they didn't feel that they had to go back to work. Now, this is something we are monitoring because, unfortunately, uh, we've seen uh, statistics that show that the average person is only literally a paycheck away uh, from not having enough money to meet their bills. Well, now we've been monitoring a lot of the checking and savings accounts balances, and people have a lot more cash at their disposal, so they are taking their time getting back to work. Now, one of the other trends that we're seeing is that you're seeing part-time help getting much more benefits than what they used to. I just wrote an article uh, for another uh, online uh, e-zine that was talking about how we think that actually you're going to see many part-time workers be allowed to enter into a 401k uh, to be able to bank some of their earnings uh, in a retirement savings plan. But we've all seen the signs, uh, uh, sign-on bonuses, higher hourly wages, uh, payments and credits towards tuition. That is what the future is going to bring as far as getting people back to work and maintaining those part-time workers. Because a lot of part-time workers may be working part-time because they have other obligations Maybe they're taking some care of somebody at home and they can only work 20 or 25 hours a week, but they will gravitate to those jobs that have the better benefits. The other thing that we've seen is customer service jobs are really changing. And what I mean by customer service jobs, I mean, especially restaurant workers, waiters and waitresses out there. Uh, we were out to dinner the other night. And we happened to be talking to the owner of a restaurant 
And he said, listen, his two classes of people that come to see him, uh, uh, you know, obviously he's got people in the restaurant, but his restaurant workers are either moms looking for extra cash on the weekend or college students. Now, the moms who are looking for extra cash on the weekends have come back to work and they're doing very, very well, but the college students have not come back to work yet. And we think what's happening is that there's a lot of parents out there saying, hey, listen, your first priority is to go to school. We don't want you to get sick. So why don't you wait until next spring or next summer to get that part-time job? So we think that's gonna change rapidly. But the other thing we're seeing is that customer service jobs are changing from the standpoint, especially in the restaurant industry, where if you've got a complaint about your meal, rather than complaining to the waitress, we're seeing that the waitress immediately gets the manager and creates a buffer situation to keep those quote frontline workers from taking the wrath of obviously uh, many people that are out there that are frustrated. So that's where all the workers have gone. We think we've seen some permanent changes to the workforce that'll continue uh, in the future. And we do think it's going to get better uh, as we get farther into 2022 and 2023. So that's all we have for this week's uh, weekly Rotel update. Uh, and QCast, we thank the guys for doing it again. We'll be back next week.